Hi everyone and welcome to part three of my new Now and Choreograph Train tutorial videos. These videos are designed for someone who has just got their first now and needs to run through the basics, so please stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm Philip English from RoboField.com. Now on this video we're looking into the very basics of Now and Choreograph. Last week we were looking into Now software and the basics of getting Now started. This week we're looking into the Now's web page functionalities and a few other services the Now has to offer. So going back to our index, we're now looking into the Use the Now web page functions. Now web pages allows you to configure your robot and you can access it via your web browser. Do this by typing in http yournownamelocal or alternatively you can use the IP address. With the user to log on details of now and the password now for default account. When you get into the web browser you'll be able to see the network settings section. This allows you to connect your now to the network. You can connect your now to your computer using a wired or Wi-Fi connection. The wired connection is mandatory when you're initially setting up the now but then afterwards it's recommended that you use the Wi-Fi connection. This is so the now can move around and doesn't get tangled up in its own wires and has the freedom. So to get this to work, what you have to do is you have to select one of the available Wi-Fi networks, then complete the required parameters and then click the connect button. And now supports WEP, WPA and WPA2, the personal securities. To connect now behind a proxy, you have to select one of the available networks, check the advanced options box and in the list select manual. Click the required parameters in there and then click the connect button. If you want to connect your now to a hidden network then please hit the add Wi-Fi button, complete the required parameters and then click the connect button again. If you have any issues with connecting to the network then please try these five tips. So tip one, if you can't connect the now over the Wi-Fi, switch back to the Ethernet cable. This will allow you to connect to the now to see if there's any issues with the Wi-Fi. Number two, make sure that your network access is allowing Choreograph through your firewall. Number three is by obtaining the IP address from the now and connect via the IP address details. You can get the now's IP address by pressing the chest button once. You can also check the cable connection and make sure that you have DCHP server active. DCHP is not needed if there's a direct connection between the robot and the computer. The fourth one is that once you have the IP address for the now, you can try and ping it. And the fifth one, if you can't do anything else, I'd contact your network administrator. If you're setting a wired connection up, then plug in an ethernet cable, connect the ethernet cable to your internet box, the wired network appears in the list, and then you can select the wired network. If you have a router with a spare ethernet port, then you can connect the ethernet cable to the router. The router will act as a DHCP server and give it now its own IP address. Moving on to the My Robot section, this displays the main settings for your robot. Here you'll be able to see the battery indicator which tells you how full the battery is, the now key version currently running on your now, what languages are installed on the robot and currently is using, you can also change the language choice here, you can change the volume of the speakers and set the time zone too. The live by default button lets you enable or disable now's autonomous life. This is the program that allows you to interact with the now when you chat to him or want to launch activities by voice. If you do not have this switched on at the start, your now will remain static. Moving to the update section, this allows you to set and manage the link to the Alder Baron cloud. So to register your now, go to the now web page, click on the updates page and then click on the edit account button. Here you'll be able to enter your email address and password for your Alder Baron cloud account and then hit the connect button again to get connected. So if you want to update now, you just click on the updates page, applications that need to be updated will appear, make sure the autonomous life is switched off, and then just click the update all button. By jumping back to the index, we're now going to have a look at the other services the now has to offer. So to start with, the now has an FTP file server, which you can connect by going to FTP dash forward slash forward slash now dot local in your web browser or by accessing your FTP client. The default password is standard for this, so user equals now and password equals now. This allows you to browse the now's file system and upload and download files between now and the computer. The next one is the SSH secure shell server. 
Connect to it with the SSH now at now.local or using Putty, which is a Windows program. Again, the password is now. This opens up a shell on the Now's Linux OS system, allows you to run administrative tasks, troubleshooting issues, etc. If you're really good at coding, the default super user username and password is root and root, but it requires a good knowledge of Linux. Well, that's it for this week, guys. Just to recap, we've gone through the Now's web page functionalities as well as had a look at the other Now services. If you like this and want even more free video tutorials, news, and information, then please visit us at robofield.com where you can download the latest free ebooks and get insider information and techniques of how to become a robot expert. Now, if you like this tutorial and want to see the next one in the collection, then please hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the latest videos that come out. Please have a look below as well where I've put links relating to these videos as well as other information about the Now robot. If you have any questions or want to see any other related tutorials, then please write me a message in the comment section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time.